Omeros is a Greek word for Homer. It is also the title of one of the finest poems ever to be created. With this work, Derek Walcott, St. Lucian born and Trinidadian bred, earned himself the world's most prestigious literary prize, the Nobel. In our two-part special report, this week we focus on the Nobel laureate in conversation with Raoul Panton, himself a poet and playwright. Nobody hear you when you cry. Oh, Ethiopia, nobody hear you when you die. Derek Walker, O Babylon. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Poet Dylan Thomas. I have written poetry which I've described Trinidad as a desert, and it's very funny, an American diplomat, I once showed him the poem and he said, but I don't understand, you live in a country that's so green and so beautiful, why would you use the metaphor desert to describe it? And I said, I'm talking about intellectual desert. If you think now, for instance, that there needs to be a generation, very small, concentrated generation of, of other artists, it is very hard to have lived here so long and have the same feeling of where do these people go to? What center do they have? What connection can they make? What kind of training do they get? Yes, exactly, yeah. The artist will always be a minority because he goes against the, the grain. Or what the majority goes for, he's against. And not because he's perverse, but because the, what the majority normally goes for is the lowest common denominator, isn't it? The majority, like, like sheep, eventually are headed towards dross, you know. Walcott had to go away with his Caribbean, with raw material, to present us with his books, our pride. His support is there, not here. His worth recognized abroad first. Shame. It's painful. You can get driven to despair. Open it up, support it, throw millions of dollars in the arts. What you will do is you will give the people of the country an opportunity for education and self-knowledge where things like cocaine and crime and rape and all this shit that is going on in Trinidad will be reduced because people will see it to be a bad thing. No sketch of Walcott is complete without Wilbert Holder, who before his death in 1987 used to swear to Raoul Panton, Europe has Shakespearean actors, but I'm a Walcottian actor. The jokes that are made, you know, here about his not being here, like the other day, I say, hey, look, Wilbert, you know, <laughs> that kind of feeling is very, very strong. I mean, he was, the respect that people had for him, you know. Mm -hmm. I love Wilbert very much. We literally hung out together for years. People said we were homosexual at one point in time. Trinidad is such a ridiculous society. Charles Applewhite has been a Walcottian actor for almost two decades. Mere presence on that perimeter, pacing like a tiger, up and down. And you begin to continue doing what you're doing, but looking every now and then again out of the corner of your eye to check for signals of approval. He was a verbal terrorist and a man with, with words that access to the words Walcott has. When he's finished with you, I mean, you're a wet squib. Men have licked Walcott down. I know now to put Walcott across a room because he got him so angry. Everything he does, he does with an intensity that is sometimes very frightening. You could see his whole life going into this thing and, and there, there were rewards for it. I mean, people weren't making money. Rage notwithstanding, the belief in our Caribbean spurs on these poets. I look at those hills ringing that day and I look at that fishing village there, I, I shake my head. Because I know I'm looking at a Gauguin painting, you know, I'm looking at a masterpiece by Matisse. You know, I'm seeing the painting of the classic paintings right there in the landscape, and I think Walker has said that. Trinidad produces people of genius, you know, and it may be taken for granted that if we produce people of genius, there'll always be stuff, stuff around, whether you produce Naipaul or Minchel or C.L.R. James oh, or... Okay. No, well, I'm, you know, I'm talking about Trinidadians. Mm -hmm. And so the attitude may be, well, it's, it's, it's going to happen anyway, you know? I see journalism as one form of writing. Playwriting is another form. The poem is another form, the essay, the letter, you know, they're all forms and, and I would like to excel in all. I, I told Mr. Walker in an interview, watch yourself, I'm coming for you, I'm better than you, you know. He laughed uproariously, of course he doesn't think I'm better than him. Omeros is not just a poem, it is an epic paean of praise to the Caribbean people and its landscape by one of her most praiseworthy sons. With Omeros, Derek Walcott has not just won literature's most prestigious prize, but he has stamped Caribbean culture indelibly onto the hearts and minds of the world. Ira Martho, TV6 News, with a special report.